it's, it's like kind of political you're like a spy you infiltrate and you stop people from firing off nuclear weapons that would start like a whole holocaust and sometimes there's a giant robot that they use to launch that weapon that you have to destroy before it's too late so you go from stopping people from launching nukes and all-out World War Three and shit to fucking zombies and that's all I'm like what the fuck this doesn't make sense and it don't make dollars well, either staying on the battlefield that long will have a negative impact on your health why not head back to mother base for a shower once in a while mm -hmm. Yeah, I love playing Metal Gear. Boss is back. The Let's order that they released the game is kind of crazy too. Good to go, Chief. <laughs> because in the first three of them, What's the matter? you play as a solid snake. His spy, the spy name is always something to do with a snake, for the most part. Solid snake is sent to kill his uh dad but he doesn't know that because it's real fucked up his dad was the original snake and actually didn't want any kids but what happened was when he was knocked out in a coma for a couple of years which is a game i'm playing now when he finally wakes up out of that coma they stole his dna to try and clone him did he stop that knife with his teeth? Holy shit. Ooh! Stop this. Now. Ooh. Got the fucking knife with his teeth. What the fuck, you friend? Give me a hand. Damn. What the fuck? What the hell she go buck wild for? Hold her still. Oh my god. What the fuck? Why? Oh my god. Dismissed. So there's a girl named Quiet. It's her code name. Because she can't talk. Because they have these things called nano nano machines that they implanted into her bloodstream. That if she says one word, they'll blow her brain up. Pay and back kill for her. how they treated her. Doesn't explain the others. And she just attacked her chance to kill them. No, I don't know. This has been a second time. time. There won't be a third. Okay, so Solid Snake's dad gets the name Big Boss. He gets the name Big Boss because he murdered, well, was forced to kill the boss. The boss was his trainer and somebody he was in love with. Uh, oh, I didn't know they did that in this. Oh, that could be real fucking awkward, real fucking quick. Okay. So, the boss was this blonde haired lady who ran a whole, her own little unit and she kicked Big Boss out of the unit before they went on this mission. He didn't know why, he understood that she couldn't go on this one for some reason. Turns to find out she went there to dispose of 
also nuclear weapons that the U.S. was selling to the Russians. Which, of course, you're not supposed to do that, you know? So, on her getting rid of that and everything, they don't want any witnesses to that deal. So, they send Big Boss after her to kill her. Because, obviously, he's going to know the most about her. Because she personally trained him and everything. And then also, he's like the best soldier they have at that point, considering they're going to kill off the other ones that was working for them. So, <laughs> when he goes on that mission to kill her, he asks, of course, why did you betray him, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, there's so much you don't know. Um, she never actually betrayed the country. She did everything she was supposed to, including letting him win. When uh, they get into this huge fight, and she tells them how the U.S. sent her to recover the nukes that they were selling to the Russians. That's the Cuban Missile Crisis, which is ac an actual event that happened <laughs> when Russians were given weapons to the Cubans to start a war. I don't know if you know much about that. Well. After killing her and all Thank of her commandos and stuff, I'll give you everything I have. Um, he leaves the U.S. He's done with it, and he starts his own little private army thing. He doesn't bother nobody. He's not doing anything but helping out like refugees and stuff, giving them a home. Uh, he's training them how to use weapons, how to defend themselves, and stuff like that. You know, this guy. Well, the U.S. says they want their soldier back, and they want everybody he's been training and stuff, too. And he's like, nah, we're private. We're not getting involved with that again. So the U.S. gets pissed off, and they bomb the shit out of our base and, like, try and kill everybody. Uh, they kill a lot of people, including a little girl named Paz and a boy named Chico in a really fucked up way because uh, they survived the first explosion and all that and some people get captured and then on a rescue mission to get the little girl out they put two bombs in her one in her stomach and one in her vagina and <laughs> they remove the bomb that was in her stomach and they get rid of it in time but then she was trying to explain it that she has one more in her and she tried to jump out of the plane and blows up in the air, causing his plane to crash, which is why he was in a coma. So, basically, after waking up out of the coma, he's all fucked up and has to get all types of surgeries and shit. Somebody let the cat out of the bag of where he was. While he's in that coma, they took his DNA and made three little babies. One solid snake, the guy from the first couple games. One is liquid snake, which I'll get into here in a second. And another one is solid snake. Now when they cloned them, they tried fucking with the DNA in three different ways. Solid snake, they tried to only take the, uh, what was it? Only the soldier genes, I believe it was. They just the uh, blind obedient soldier genes. Liquid Snake, they try to make all of the genes perfect. Like soldier genes, his fitness, his able to do stuff, his smartness, all of that. Solidus, they tried to just make as a perfect clone. They didn't really mess with it too much other than trying to make them as close to the original as they could. Now the game I'm playing, after I've woken up, I run into a little boy named Eli. Eli actually grows up to be Liquid Snake. And he was under the impression, since he had blonde hair, that he was the clone that didn't get the best genes. Even though he was. <laughs> he thought Solid Snake got the best genes. When in reality, he didn't. So... When they send 
Shallow Snake to kill Big Boss, uh, Liquid gets upset. And then you find out that Big Boss survived the first game, and then you fix him to kill him a third or a second time. This time you kind of succeed, kind of not really. He uses a body double or whatever. But you don't find that out until the last game. So. I'm boring you. Alright. <laughs> uh, what was it? I could talk about this shit all fucking day. <laughs> but, um. Which, I don't know why they haven't turned this into a movie yet. I'd watch the shit out of this. So, Liquid Snake does the same exact thing that Big Boss did, which is starts his own militia, his own soldiers, and everything. And he. He actually launches a nuke that goes off and kills a lot of people. So they send Solid in to get him. You kill Liquid Snake and there's another guy there named Ocelot Revolver. Um, he's like the, one of the most important people in the entire franchise. <laughs> Next to everybody with Snake in their name. Because he fought Big Boss, the original Snake, and lost and then joins them and then he works behind the scenes for everything he controls where all the nukes go he works for the Russians and he works for the US total absolute control so he's, his arm gets blown off so he finds Liquid's dead body and he has Liquid's arm attached to his arm and Liquid had a psychic ability I guess and he takes control of Ocelot for a little while says his name's Liquid Ocelot because they share a brain or something weird. I don't know, it's crazy. So then you stop another nuclear attack and they find out that uh, when they made the clones they wanted to make sure that they wouldn't ever lose control of them and since the ones in control and doing the cloning were the main bad guys they set this thing off that makes you rapidly age. So he goes from like a guy who's maybe like 26, 27 to like a fucking 60 plus year old man. Hair goes completely right, eyesight starts going fucking terrible. So instead of being younger than Ocelot, who should be like a 70 year old man, your guys actually end up about the same age. And you know, fight it out on top of two of the fucking monstrous robot things. And then you win. And then you're about to commit suicide and you find out Big Boss is still alive. Then recreated. But he doesn't have much time left. And he tries to explain everything to you about how they illegally cloned him. How you're not really the strongest clone but you're the only one that survived because you chose to live your own way instead of either trying to escape the shadow or be bigger than the shadow but you didn't even worry about the shadow he just does his own thing then Big Boss dies and then Snake eventually, I don't know he might have died, he might not have it's left up to interpretation but it's awesome and that's like a really, really, really quick summed up version of what goes on in these games. Oh yeah, Solidus was also the president of the United States for a little while. So he really, he really wants that. But my thing is, everyone says Big Boss was evil, but I don't really see that because uh they're like well he had child soldiers and i'm like you know normally i'm against child soldiers but um if he didn't train these kids on how to defend themselves and whatnot they would have been murdered they wouldn't have had a chance they fucking died 